Wow. It's back. Rebaptized in the name of Euro 5, a gasoline mister, an O2 sensor, ABS, and a heavy amp generator to power it all. The world has changed that much and more, but the KLR just that much. It's still the 80s single we know by heart. It shakes like a steam engine, drinks like a diesel, makes half the KTM's horsepower only in modern greenery, it's 110 pounds heavier. But as much as it's an 80s thumper, it's the perfect 80s thumper. When you freeze a model for two generations, you learn just what to update. A tractor perfected can do 98% of a T7's job for half the price. It's half the price. It's half the price. I just worry that between our modern inflation and spec sheet obsession, the days of cheap iron are ending. That Kawasaki elevated the KLR just enough to see a second sunset. <laughs>